Tifu by telling him to grow up. I have been crushing on a guy for about six months. He goes to my college and I added him on Snap. We started to text but he's very bad at replying to people and takes at least three five days to reply to a message and this really annoyed me. He has also been leading me on slightly by flirting with me every now and then. He called me gorgeous but told my friend he said it to help aid my character more because he wasn't sure if he liked me or not. He found out that I like him through his friend and has known for about three months. But never brought it up to me so I didn't know he knew. Fast forward to now. I messaged him and said that he's giving me mixed signals and that he's confusing me because he flirts with me. Then leaves me on delivered for several days. I said that he needs to grow up and start replying to people or he's going to hurt people and confuse them like he's done to me. I then asked if he liked me and he replied with I find you canny and nice. But I'm too inconsistent to date anyone and would be useless in a relationship. Plus I plan on being single forever and ever. Amen. That way I can live in a man cave that I clean out once a decade and eat my body weight in food. Every day I feel like he thinks this is all a joke and I don't how to react. My friends say that he doesn't put effort into anything and that he's not good for friendship. Never mind a relationship. He said that he still wants to hang out and that he'll turn up at some point this week if he has time. This is the first proper crush I've ever had and I'm very hurt. My friends say that I'm being crazy and delusional and I'm starting to think they're right. TLDR I asked a boy out and he isn't putting any effort in or being serious about any of this and my friends think I'm crazy. Update he showed up this week like he said he wouldn't hung out with me and my friends at lunch. Ah, time is way too precious to waste on someone who doesn't feel the same way. Even more so while young. The one you want won't make you chase it. GLHF. Take the hint. He's just not that into you. Brew the dude is not into you and or is already peeling back someone else. As is life. New Hun. You are the one who needs to grow up here. Just because a guy flirts a bit with you. Doesn't mean he is planning to play house with you. A flirt is just one of life's spices. Not a courtship or a promise of intent of anything. I think it was a good idea that you asked him about his intentions. But only as long you actually listens to his response. He made it abundantly clear that he is not into you and he is not aiming for an relationship of any sort. The only one who might be hurting your feelings or is making you confused is yourself. Because you won't accept his rejection. I mean telling somebody to grow up because obviously not into you is kind of a dick move. He's under no obligation to respond to you in a timely manner. If he was interested in you he would message back. He obviously has not. That does not mean he needs to grow up. Move on he was very clear that he wasn't interested. Pursuing him is a waste of your energy and emotions. You may be disappointed. But this is a good lesson for you. Not everyone that flirts is interested in dating or a relationship. If a guy gives you excuses like that. Then he probably isn't interested. And you didn't ask him out. You asked him if he liked you. If you want a full answer. Then literally ask him out. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be a no. Or more excuses which are also a no. But either way. Just assume it ain't happening and move on. I personally dislike people who can't be clear. And I find these type of people to be a waste of time. So, I wouldn't bother with someone like this any more than you already did. A lot of the other people here are kinda wrong. Stop reading in between the lines. 
There's nothing there but confusion. He said he doesn't want to be in a relationship. So stop trying. His mind is made up. Putting more effort into changing his mind is useless. Pro tip if he's not answering on Snap just get his Discord or phone number and I'm positive he might answer more frequently. He probably just doesn't use Snap often. This isn't very complicated. He's not looking for the same thing you are. He plans on being single forever. What is it you don't understand here? I'm 37 and also a male so please hear this because it comes from experience. If a man tells you he's a waste of time, you should 100 hear that. He's being honest even if he's trying to make it a joke. This boy you're into is a waste of time. Don't invest any more energy into him. He likes that you like him. And that's as far as it goes. He's not interested in you. That's okay. Just move on. It diminishes your sense of value when you wait around for someone that isn't into you. Sometimes you have to live it long enough to realize it though. That's the hard way to learn it by continuing to chase someone that doesn't like you. The easy way is to acknowledge the reality up front and walk away. Feels like you and him are wanting two different things at this point in life. Man looks like he just wants enjoy life. He is 18 and like most university kids at that point. Trying to figure how to adult and life while you're looking for a relationship which is absolutely fair. Either he isn't interested in you. Or he isn't ready yet. Maybe you're just friends. At 18. You're lucky he's being so straight with you. He's not even considering settling down. This boy has more common sense than most 18 years olds. Most would string you along to get in your pants or because they don't want to hurt your feelings. He sounds mature beyond his years to be honest. His statements really boil down to it's not you. It's me but he's made his lack of interest clear regardless. No means no. He's saying he is not into you. Flirting can sometimes just be for fun. It doesn't have to mean anything. But if he's saying he doesn't want to date you or anyone else, you have to listen to that. Sure, it sucks when you finally find someone you like. But there will be more crushes in the future. There will also be crushes who do reciprocate these feelings. Speaking of needing to grow up. OMG pay attention to me right now. Sounds like you both have some growing up to do. This is not that important just move on getting rejected is not a big deal. It sounds like you like the idea of who you think this person could be and not who they actually are. You crushed on a person that is entirely a figment of your imagination. It shows that you knew this guy so little. The emotion doesn't have a single shred of reality. Here's just a general bit of life advice when people tell you things about themselves. Like I'm too inconsistent to date anyone believe them. Fucking hell I wish I was 18 again and these were my problems. That's what I don't like about technology. If you're not careful you'll get to know someone over text. Then when you do hang out in person you won't have anything to talk about. Just watch some Matthew Hussey on YouTube. Best advice I found in my time of doubt. Your friends are right. You need someone who puts in equal effort as you. Maybe he will find a girl who is as carefree as he is. The point is you should not have to adjust downwards just to fit into his box. You will find other people to crush on. Not all crushes are good for you. Sounds like he's not the one that needs to grow up. He told you what he wants. You didn't listen.